What's up, everybody? Ben here with Fly Plugins, and today I'm super excited to announce our WP Courseware 4.1 release. And in this demonstration video, I want to point out a couple of our uh, major feature enhancements that we've done. We've also done some minor tweaks to our UI. And so I just want to walk you through each and every one of these um, up updates that we have available for WP Courseware 4.1. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So upon activating or updating your plugin to 4.1, the first thing you're going to notice is our menu. Our menu has been condensed. It's been cleaned up quite a bit. In previous versions, we had two menu items, one for uh, all of our course, major course elements, but then we also had a secondary menu for course units. Uh, and we've gone ahead and condensed that down quite a bit. Our goal is really to, to make things easier uh, to use as well as uh, to navigate through uh, different elements of the course. So one of the things I want to go ahead and point out first is uh, we have a new settings page. And on our settings page, uh, it's very similar to our previous settings page. However, it's a little more organized. Uh, we've got everything set up into tabs. And so you have basically the same functionality, but it's uh, it's divided into, into the various tabs. So you have your license information as well as your affiliate uh, powered by link stuff down here. You've got uh, unit comments on and off button. Uh, you've also got uh, default CSS. You can turn it on or off your drip feed interval schedule. So how often do you want to check for drip feed notifications in the uh, drip feed queue? You also have your support tab. The support tab is really cool because now you can search our documentation right from this button. You can basically type anything in here and search our articles and view them right within the plugin here. We also have uh, our short code documentation listed down here for our course outline, course progress page, and course enrollment short code button. We've added this tab here, system info, this is new. And basically what this is, is the bird's eye view of your entire web server uh, WordPress installation. So it's gonna give you uh, some really cool information, um, you know, plugins that are active, inactive, PHP versions, My MySQL version, uh, server type, uh, even some of the PHP INI uh, parameters here. And so this is very helpful, uh, not only for you, but also for uh, our support technicians when uh, providing support. Uh, you, can, you can actually send them this information uh, by clicking this download system info report that's going to download it into a text file. And then you simply just attach that to, uh, to the support ticket. And then lastly, we have our other products tab. And here you can uh, check out our other products. Uh, one really cool thing is uh, you are able to uh, obtain this 15% off that nobody else has access to except you because you are our customer and we appreciate you guys. Okay, so let's move over to our students page. Our students page is uh, one of our uh, new features. This is this is one of our major enhancements and the, the student page is much like the users page. Uh, in fact, if I show you really quick the users page, you'll notice that all of the items that pertain to WP Courseware are, are no longer here on this page. They are all basically moved over to the students page. And the students page, you've got a couple of new features, which are really cool. Uh, if you notice, when I mouse over one of the students, you'll see there's an email link right here. And there's also an email address here that's um, also a hyperlink. And if you click either one of those, you'll notice a light box pops open and you can send that student an email directly uh, by just popping in a subject and a message and clicking send email. So that's one of our new uh, features on the students page. The progress bars uh, are still here and we also have the reset progress so you can reset uh, a, a user's progress uh, to a, a previous unit within a course that they are enrolled into. And then we have our update access page, which is very similar to what we had on the users page where you can enroll and de-enroll students right, uh, right from here. Um, one thing that did move, we used to have uh, the view detailed progress button over here and we went ahead and just moved that over here. We wanted to try to keep things nice and clean and tidy, um, but it, it takes you to the same page. It's the same data. It's a bird's eye view of every course that student is enrolled into. Now, one thing that we've added here as well is we've added this bulk action. 
And with the bulk action, you can simply select one or more students and you can remove them from all courses, which brings up my next point. Uh, the only individuals or users that are going to be listed in the students page are individuals or students that are enrolled into at least one course. So what that means is that you could have a lot of users registered on your WordPress site, but not necessarily users that are enrolled into courses. So the only individuals or users that are going to be showing up here on the students page are people that are actually enrolled into one or more courses. Okay, so the, uh, the next question might be, well, how do I enroll a brand new student? Well, we've kind of mixed uh, some of the functionality with WordPress. So if you notice right here, we have add new. And what this does is this not only adds a new user to your WordPress site, so it registers somebody in your WordPress site, but it also allows you to add courses. You can enroll them directly right here by selecting uh, one, or, one or more courses. And so we can go ahead and let's just go ahead and walk through this. So we're just gonna create a, a fake user here. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and click add new user. And now we have our new user. Uh, so this is the user screen. Um, and so here's our new user right here, Joan. And if we go over to our students page, you'll notice we have Joan Smith and we enrolled Joan into course A and to course C. So that's how you, uh, add a new user to your WordPress site simultaneously while adding uh, or enrolling them into, into courses. And the same goes for if you click on users, add new, it's the same screen. Uh, you, you have the option to enroll uh, people into uh, a course. So I'll go ahead and show you that here. So yeah, you have the option here. So it's, it's, it's one in the same, it's the same page. Okay, so let's move over to course units. Our course units page is very similar to what we had before. The only difference is uh, we have a, a, an add new button up here rather than a menu item to add a new course unit. Other than that, the functionality is, is all the same. You have the same bulk actions to edit or move to trash. You can also um, filter by date and you can also filter by course. Uh, one thing to point out is we've really been trying to get consistent with our screen options, um, our bulk actions, our filtering, our search options uh, within our uh, various index pages. So if we move over to course modules, you'll notice this is actually a new page. Uh, we didn't have this in previous versions. And so on this page, uh, very similar, you can add a new module. Uh, you can go to your course listing page or your course index page. We have bulk actions to delete multiple modules at once. And then you can also filter by course here as well. You have the option to search and then you have uh, your screen options here as well. Uh, one thing to point out is that you can, you can pop into the module itself and edit it by either clicking right on the module title or you can click the edit button here. And you'll notice that the courses here are also highlighted. They're, they're, they are URLs, they're hyperlinks, and that'll take you directly to the course configuration page for that particular course. So that's, that's our new course modules page. And let's go ahead and go over to our courses page, which has also changed a bit. First of all, we've um, gone ahead and added uh, our classroom page option here by hovering over uh, the course name here. We've also added the gradebook over here. The gradebook used to be a button over here on the right-hand side. Again, we're just trying to clean up our interface a little bit. And so uh, that's that's where these uh, links are located. Uh, here you can view modules. And when you click the view modules from this page, you will actually see the modules that pertain just to this course. So for example, if I hit view modules, you'll see I have uh, the, the only module listed here is for course C. And if I change the filter here to, uh, to show all, we do have three uh, different modules. And we still have the module and unit ordering button here that takes you to the same drag and drop screen, no difference there. Uh, we do have screen options uh, where you can uh, go ahead and uh, add or remove columns or you can uh, add or remove uh, the amount of courses that will be displayed on screen. Then you also have the uh, quiz notification uh, little icon. So for example, if you had a quiz that had uh, manual graded questions 
and you have not graded that particular quiz yet, what will happen is you'll get a little badge very similar to the one you see here with next to plugins, a little number, and that'll show up next to courses here and as well as the course that has a, a quiz that needs to be graded. And then from there, you can just go right over to your grade book and, and get that quiz graded. Okay, so now uh, I want to introduce our next big feature uh, enhancement, which is our classroom page. And if we click on our classroom page, you'll notice it's very similar to the students page. Uh, but the difference here is that uh, the students that are listed here are grouped by, by course. So for example, I clicked on uh, I clicked on the classroom under course C. So you, you see we're in the context of course C here. And so what happens here is you'll have a uh, very similar functionality as you do with the students page. If you notice here, we have the email function where if you click the email address here or email, uh, you will get the email light box where you can add a subject message and send that individual an email. You also have your progress bar, view detailed progress, which is very similar to uh, what the students page has. And also uh, you can do something really cool here. You can email the entire classroom. So you can send out an email blast just to the students that are in this particular course. And another cool feature that we have is the course switcher. So right here, you can actually switch between courses. Um, so if I wanted to go look at course B and see who's enrolled there or send that course and or that classroom an email, I can do that. Um, and so uh, that's that's basically what the classroom page does. Now, what I wanted to point out here is this button up here, the enroll users button. Now, this is a little bit different than the add new button on the students page. The enroll users button will allow you to add existing WordPress users to this particular classroom. So you can enroll somebody who exists on your WordPress website into this classroom. So if we go ahead and come in here, we can uh, pick out a name here, enroll the user, and you'll notice now we have uh, a new student down here at the very bottom. And so that's just a very simple way to enroll an existing user into this particular classroom. And I believe that concludes this demonstration of WP Coursework 4.1. And just a side note, um, I wanted to just mention that uh, this is the first of many updates that are coming down the pike, and there are going to be some really cool features uh, that we are going to introduce. We have huge plans for WP Courseware, so keep your eyes peeled, and uh, we wish you all the best of luck in your courses. Thanks for watching.